Did you know that in 1756, Benjamin Franklin was the commander of a militia regiment? And in that prominent role, he was preceded in parades by ranks of oat boys and fifes. And that when George Washington was touring the newborn United States in 1789, he was welcomed by bands in almost every city and town that he visited. But the most important day in the history of bands in this country was that 11th of July in the year 1798, when by an act of Congress, the United States Marine Band was founded. This musical organization is a symbol of band greatness in our country, fulfilling its role as a military band, a marching band, a concert band, and a symphonic band. If you are fortunate enough to be invited to the White House for some special occasion, such as the visit of the leader of a foreign country, you will find an ensemble of musicians from the Marine Band playing in the beautiful foyer of the house. And if you want to hear some of the great music written by many of this country's and the world's leading composers for ensembles of symphonic winds, you can come to the handsome quarters of the Marine Band where such programs are regularly played. In its 190 years of continuing importance as one of our country's major musical organizations, the Marine Band has seen its leaders rise from the rank of private to the rank of colonel, which is the rank of its leader today, Colonel John Bourgeois. Among those leaders was a man named John Philip Sousa. For 12 years, Sousa, who has been quite rightly called the most important figure in the history of American band music, was the leader of the Marine Band. And it was in the year 1890 that Sousa led the Marine Band in a recording of his famous march, The Washington Post. Very soon we will mark the 100th anniversary of the beginning of the Marine Band's recording history, a history that is a document not only of the greatness of this band, but of band music for a century of achievement through Thomas Edison's invention. Eight men have served as leaders of the Marine Band since Sousa left the band in 1892 to form his own. Each of those men led the band in recordings of which this is the vivid reminder and evidence. It is a musical history that has no parallel in our nation's story, and it is important to note that the United States Marine Band is the oldest musical organization in our country. Join me now as we celebrate the music and the heritage of the United States Marine Band from Fife and Drum. <laughs>